Hello, my friends. And we are back. Green Energy here with more Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, where we left off, we had just come back to the Undead Asylum, and we rested at this bonfire. And we are prepared to take on the next boss. But before we do that, we're actually going to clear the entire area. There are some new items that have popped up, and new enemy types that are going to try to kick our butts. First things first, I want to triple check a couple things. Um, first off, the the guy that helped us with our Estus and our key at the beginning of the game, he's actually an enemy now, and we're going to have to take him on. So we're going to do that first. Ooh. Oh, I two-handed. Not at a great time. We're going to back up and Still not the greatest of these. You can see he does move a little slow. Um, you can tell based on his steps that is, he has armor that's heavy and so when he rolls he's going to do that super slow roll. That's what happens to us if we have too much armor. Which is why I'm trying to play it cool. off let our health re or our stamina regen. I'm also trying to go for backstabs here. I'm very confident that I can do it. I'm just not doing a very good job at doing them. We'll heal just to be safe. Might have been a good time for a backstab right there. I think we can handle them, though. As long as I don't get greedy, which I did just a little bit right there. Handed, wrong time to two hand again. Oh dear. Come on, meow. There we go. And he's not going to respawn on us, so if we uh, were not carrying five Estus right now, we could go rest of the bonfire and get more. But we're going to keep going with what we got. Now this boulder is going to fall again, so we're going to Indiana Jones out of the way. And then these enemies are actually all the same enemies we had before when we did the tutorial. Their HP um, might be scaled to where we are in game. I can't honestly tell you. Um, they're still quite easy to beat in terms of how much damage they take. But as you can see, they can still kick your butt if you're not playing smart, which I was not. The change in enemy placement, however, switches right here, is now there's two of these guys in here. Still relatively simple. Just now you gotta be mindful of two of them walking around. Ooh. Obviously this one's got a spear, so he's being kind of a kind of a coward. Now, I can't remember. We cannot. 
there's a ring in there that's very important. If we can't get it here, it's going to put a small dent in some of our exploration later on. Now I am doing this part backwards. This is the area that we went through after we um, ran through the first boss and collected our weapons at the beginning of the game. Ooh, I thought he was going to be on the other side. I'm a little bit nervous about this right now. Oh man, we are probably going to run back to our bonfire. That's actually the same one that we ran past the tutorial boss and rested at. Strangely enough, the bonfires kind of think that you've already been to them before, even though these are quote-unquote new ones. Alright, we're gonna rest at this bonfire. I may even kindle it so we get some extra Estus. We'll do that. We'll just need one, because we're not hollowed yet. That way we can get 10 S's. Have more health for when they kick my booty. Alright, now that I can remember that he's going to be on the left side of the door... Let's try to take on this Black Knight. Oh, he's actually standing in the doorway this time for me. If he was standing there before, and you guys are just sitting back in your seats wondering, is green energy blind? Like, just maybe? Oh, come on. Get him in a more open area so we can possibly get a backstab. That's what I'm trying to get. May have to bait him all the way down to the bonfire. That's what we're going to have to do here. He is moving slow on us, though. There we go. Come on. All the way out, buddy. There we go. Now we're in it to win it. Can't rest the bonfire now. Backstab game is not on today. There we go. Not very much damage, but more than our regular hits were doing. You just got a parry. So what I do is, um, if I click in on the left stick, I will do this with my shield, and it can activate a parry. But you have to time it to where you're doing the move exactly when he's hitting you. In Dark Souls, it's not as important and crucial to the gameplay. Um, if we get to playing Sekiro, which is kind of the ninja version of Dark Souls, um, that's actually the main gameplay mechanic. 
and trying to parry this guy might be the death of me too. As you can see, you get tons of damage if you can get a successful parry and then a hit right afterwards. That's cool. Alright, I may need to come back if I want to kill the knights. I'm going to have to come back for that ring anyways, because I think I missed the, the key we need to open that door. So it's important that you kill these two hollows before we do this battle, because they can actually join us down there. But for the sake of not watching me die over and over again, we're going to go ahead and take on the boss, who's actually a... A, a clone or a copy of the tutorial boss we fought with a couple extra moves thrown in. Once you go to the middle of this side of the room, what's important is to get that heal in right away so you have full health. So what's different from this boss compared to the tutorial boss is that AoE or that explosion right there. He does it in two different forms. Well, he'll slam his axe down and do it like that. Or he will throw it. And the way I do this battle is I just try to bait those two attacks. Because once they are over, he sits still for a while. He's still going to fly up and do his little butt smash. Got me a little bit there. flies up, just back away, and as he falls, that's when you'll run around him. I may switch to the claymore here. See if that ups the ante. He's doing that throw again. can't just stand behind him, because if you're too close, the explosion can still hit you, even though he's doing it in front of himself. So that's why I'm backing away every time. But with two hits, we're getting more damage than what we were with our longsword. He has a couple of normal swings, but if you're rotating around him and hitting him in his booty like I am, he may do them, but he has a very low chance of actually hitting you with one. Ooh, he got me afterwards. So that's why you want to back away a little more. If I would go for a third hit, um, I could get more damage in each time, but I'm also risking getting hit with the explosion and not having a roll, because I'm going to be out of stamina if I do that. There we go. I was waiting for him to do that again. I don't want him to do it, but I expect it after a couple times of hitting him. close one. Oh, I messed up a little bit. We're going to run behind him. Perfect. While he's doing that. Oh, I healed a couple times too many there, but we're probably not going to need all of our Estus for this fight. Right up in his booty. This is some high-class art right here, huh? We 
We are getting there. Probably a third of the way through right now. Again, not the most eventful fight. But this is the easiest way to do it. Look at that. We went right under him there. Doesn't usually happen. Our guy's a little too tall for that, but we did it there. Because when I'm hitting him here, I'm actually moving forward to make sure that my sword is going forward. Ooh. I thought he was going to catch me there. again. I will take it if I can get it. So later on in the game we'll actually get a third copy of this boss too. But he will be more fire focused. If I remember correctly he's actually his move set's very similar to this one. So the tactic kind of applies there. That boss will actually um, will beat him a lot quicker than this one will. Or than we will with this one, since our weapons are going to be a lot better at that point. Just barely hit that second one. Must have hit his tail. We're gonna heal just to make sure we're full. I'll just do one this time. I guess hit it a little late there. Whereas those knights upstairs, they, they have less health technically, but they uh, they have better move sets than this guy does, which is why I felt comfortable fighting him. So I'll either come back, and we'll, we'll make a quick episode out of it, or I might even do it off camera, but show you where the key is. I'm leaning more towards doing the first thing. That way I can prove to y'all I ain't cheating. Although I'm not a master, I ain't a scrub. Almost there. Got probably ten more hits on him. Went right under him again there. Not the uh, image you guys wanted to see today. Ooh. 
And there you go. There's the stray demon. We get some humanity, another homeward bone, and a slab. And once you're finished with the fight, you just go right over to this ladder right here. And then that second knight that we hadn't seen yet is actually right down this hall. So this hallway is actually where we started. We started down in that cell right behind him. There's an item over there, but it's not super important. So we might be coming back to the asylum. I shouldn't say might. We are coming back to the asylum. Whether or not I do that on camera. If I do it off camera, I will let you guys know. So let's rest and level up just in case I screw up here. Let's get our longsword back so I can have speed. Take these guys out because we're going to have to fight all of those torch hollows out there. Um, I should also mention if we would have lost in that fight this ground, or the, the floor right here, the hole wouldn't be there still. It's going to break every time you fall through. But since we beat them, we get to see the hole. Because we are better than that. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting greedy. We're going to back up. Go on the fire link anyways. Oh, well, the guy from up top came down to say hi. So you can see the torch guys, because they're technically new enemy placements. They have more health than that guy who fell, because that guy is the same enemy from at the beginning of the game. So I guess that answers the question I was asking myself earlier, is... Those guys aren't scaled. These guys are. And then we're going to come back up and we're going to curl on a ball again, but we won't have to wait as long. then we're back to Firelink. So to wrap this episode up, we're going to actually get a few items that we couldn't get before. I think this is the key that I needed. Probably should have came back and done that. That is okay. Grab that soul item. We're going to take the elevator up real quick. Because that ring that we had uh, that we accidentally skipped is very crucial for a couple spots. These are all going to be chests. There's no mimics in this area. There's six homeward bones, a uh, morning star, which is a weapon, and then a talisman, which is a, a caster weapon. So we're not going to use it. And then a cracked red orb, which if I remember correctly it's all the way. That's how we can invade another player's world. Once again, I don't do it, but if you're interested in going to troll some people, or you can get humanity by killing other players, and that's the way you do it. And those skeletons we're going to ignore, because um, we're not ready to fight them yet. Although this one might follow us all the way back to the shrine. That subtitle was for the crow. I'll rest here. No, we're not. We're going to have to kill the skeleton first. Um, we need a divine weapon in order to kill 
a skeleton the first time. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to down him, but then he's going to get back up. So when we get him down, I'll try to... Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> when we down him, I'll try to uh, rest of the bonfire. Otherwise we're going to have to fight him a second time. Or he'll kill me. Either or. Alright, we can rest at the bonfire before he gets back up. But that will wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stand by for next time. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let me know what you enjoyed about it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Take care, be nice people, and spread positive vibes.